The first card you have for your past is the Knight of Wands. I'm seeing a journey. I'm seeing a journey that you're on, that you started on. And I'm seeing you could still be on this journey. This is a really fast journey. This is, um, yes, I'm seeing this is probably about your career, probably about business or money moving forward in your career or work or business or something like that. I'm just seeing that um, in your more distant past, you've had problems. And maybe even in your recent past, you could have had some problems in your career um, or work or something like that. I'm seeing there could have been some job losses or business problems. I am seeing actual big problems here. I'm not seeing small cash flow problems. I'm seeing some big problems. And yes, you recovered from this. I'm seeing you did recover from this. But at this time in your past, I'm seeing things were starting to accelerate in a more positive way for you. I'm seeing, you know, some opportunities, uh, maybe more than one income stream coming in for you or ideas about that. And this is happening very quickly. Or it was happening very quickly for you. I'm seeing a lot of communication as well around this. So you could have been meeting with people, um, having discussions about things, um, negotiations or something like that. I'm seeing all of that kind of thing. And I'm seeing it happening very quickly after a problem um, that you went through. So yes, the next card you have for your past is the Wheel of Fortune. So yes, again, things were going your way in terms of work, in terms of business, but also with this Wheel of Fortune, I always see ups and downs, ups and downs with this wheel. So you've had some downs and now you're having some ups and this is kind of fast ups and downs you are having. So you might not be in an actual job. It might be some sort of business that's very um, uh, up and down. It might um it might be reliant on something that moves up and down very quickly. It might not be a very stable business. It might be something like um, freelancing or something like that, where it's irregular income. Um, but it might be YouTube, I don't know. But yes, this um, at this time, things were um, starting to come back for you very quickly, starting to move in very quickly for you. And I know this is in the past, but I'm just seeing if this resonates with you. Um, this, um, make sure that you follow up with some of this communication you've had in the Knight of Wands, because you have communicated with some people, you've had some meetings with some people, or you've spoken to someone, and I'm seeing that you need to follow up some of these things, because I'm seeing that there could be some big opportunity there for you in some of these contacts that you've made. Um, and it's... It's there's some sort of opportunity that's going to be very stable for you, very, very stable for you for your future. But it's in there some way, you just have to find it. And I think it's in with one of these people you've spoken to. So if you're not sure who this is, um, maybe call all of them again. Maybe just call and say, hi, how are you? Thanks for the meeting something like that. They might come up with that opportunity for you or an idea that heads to an opportunity because this opportunity is going to bring you more stability because at this time you know up until now you haven't had that kind of stability you have this kind of in and out um, money flow cash flow kind of thing happening or something like that and what you need is more steadiness for your future and this is what this is going to bring so yes contact these people again or if you know who this is contact that person again that's what i'm seeing the last card you have for your past is the Two of Pentacles. Oh, so I'm seeing two people. I'm seeing two people in this. This is two people in your life um, beside you, one on each side of you. There's you in the middle. There's the Two Pentacles representing the two different people. That's what I'm seeing. I'm not seeing a third party situation. I'm not seeing you're involved in two with two people romantically. I am seeing that probably one of these people you are connected to romantically and the other one is someone else. And I'm seeing that um, sometimes when I see this two of pentacles, I can see, you know, juggling, obviously, and I can see, sometimes I see a rope tying them together. Sometimes it's an infinity. At this time, what I'm seeing is like a like a rubber band and you're pulling these two people to get to, apart and they keep on pinging back together toward you, pinging back your ears. One's talking in one ear and the other one's talking in the other ear. That's what I'm seeing. These two people do not get along. They don't get along. So it could be someone you're seeing romantically, could be someone in your family or someone outside of that that doesn't 
agree with the person you're with or like the person you're with or they don't get along. Could be an in-law situation, could be something like that. But you've got one person in one ear saying, oh, I don't like that person. Tell them to this, tell them not to say this and to do this. Stick up for me. And then you've got someone on the other side saying, oh, that terrible person is doing this. And you're in the middle saying, oh, really? I don't need this. I'm so tired. I'm so busy. You've got me off balance. Look at me. I'm on one leg. I'm going to fall over with all of this nagging you're doing to me. So it's like, if this still resonates with you, if these people are still doing this to you, you might have to just speak to them individually and say, look, you speak to this person, you speak to this person, go together, sort it out yourselves, or don't. But don't talk to me, please. Don't talk to me about this, please. I'm really, I can't deal with this. This isn't for me. I don't know why I need to be in the middle of this sandwich. Please don't put me in this. That's what I'm seeing there. So the first card you have for your present is the Empress. I'm seeing a family member here again. I'm seeing this as a family member. I'm seeing this older female relative. This is some sort of older female relative. It's like a mother figure. It might be your mother or your grandmother. It might not, but it's that kind of a figure, that kind of a person. And I'm actually literally seeing her sitting in a comfy chair in a living room, just sitting there comfortably, um, just like you would see a grandma. If you go to visit your grandma, she's probably sitting in a nice comfy armchair. And that's what I'm seeing um, with this empress. It's really nice, makes me feel nice um, thinking about that. And um, yes, you do feel comfortable with this person, but there's some kind of shift between your relationship, between you and this person in your relationship. There's something I'm trying to say. There's some shift between you that's happened. I'm seeing that this person will always love you. This person will always care for you. They care for you unconditionally. That's what I'm seeing. You won't lose this person, but something's changed between you. This could be something to do with these people in the Two of Pentacles, because there's this disagreement around that, and I was seeing possible family disagreement in that. Um, it could be something that they don't get along with someone you're close to. I'm seeing that again. Or maybe they don't approve of something you've done or something you're doing or something like that. It might be something important they don't approve of. It might be something silly. It might be something like, well, it might be something like you have a tattoo and they don't like it because maybe they're an older generation. That's not really important. But it might be something that is important. I can't see if it is, is or it isn't. But whatever it is, there is some, some disagreement between you. There's some kind of, not a barrier, but there's some little gap between you that wasn't there in the past. So you might have to talk to this person and try and resolve this. That's what I'm seeing. But this person loves you anyway. Don't forget that. Don't think they don't love you. They do. I, I'm getting that from that card. The next card you have for your present is the moon. So yes, again, this is about these two people in the Two of Pentacles. I'm sorry about that. You have these two people again. You're stuck between these two people. They don't get along with each other. And I'm just looking at this lobster on this card. And he's about to travel on this path. You want to go where you want to go. And he has to travel th through these two animals, this barking dog and this howling wolf on each side of him, in your ear saying, yak, 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 this person's terrible, this person's worse, and oh, talk to this person, and you have to go through them to get to where you want to go, and you can't because you're stuck in between them talking about each other. I know I had a horrible voice when I did that. I, I get accused of having a horrible voice anyway, but I've made it worse then when I did that. Yak, yak, yak. So there you are. That's a present for you. Um, yeah, so they won't talk to each other. They won't talk to each other, but they do, they whinge to you or they nag at you. And they like to talk to about you. They like to talk to you, I should say, about each other. That's what I'm trying to say. You care about both of these people, actually. You're not willing to stop e seeing either of them, even though they both could be trying to stop you from seeing the other person. It might be something like that. Um, and one of these people, yes, I'm seeing could be involved with you romantically. The other person isn't. And again, I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing a third party. I'm not seeing that. But yes, you have to get through this to get to where you want to go. You want to get to where you want to go. So you might just have to move through them and let them yap at you and just ignore them. It might be something like that. But yes, it is a big, big struggle for you. And the moon, look how unhappy the moon is. It doesn't like the situation either. I don't either. So the last card you have, your present, is judgment. Yes, I am feeling some fear. I'm feeling some fear around this card. There's fear around this. Um, It's very grey. 
it's very grim it's very oh just very dark this card apart from the angel um yes there's a lot of fear this i'm feeling some fear around this there's some worry about this this could be about something that you've done a long time ago you've made peace with whatever this is it's a situation this may be what this person in the Empress card has this little um, rift with you about or whatever this is. And um, I'm seeing that you're really judged in your past for something by a lot of different people. I don't know if this was justified or not, um, but you were judged. But at this time, I'm seeing you're judging yourself. You're going back in your mind to that time and you're saying, oh, why did I do this? Why am I so terrible? Why aren't I better? You're judging yourself more than other people are judging you. You can't go back. You can't go back and change this. You can't go back and change what happened. You have made peace. You have apologized or whatever you've had to do. There's no point in going back in your mind about this. It's going to, who does it, who does it help? Does it make you feel better? No. Does it make anyone else feel better? No. Does it change what happened? No. Does it? No, it doesn't do anything good. There's no point in it. Try to stop judging yourself harshly. You're judging yourself a lot harsher than anyone else is. You're doing this to yourself. This might be stopping you from moving forward. As, again, look at the moon card. You want to move up there. You can't if you're judging yourself harshly. This lobster, again, he's in the water. This is where he is, stuck in his emotions. He wants to move through these two people. Get out of your emotions. Stop judging yourself. Move through these horrible people. You'll get through them. Just ignore them. Go up the path. Go up to where you want to go, up to the mountains, up to the sky. Don't keep judging yourself because you're pushing yourself back into that water. That's what I'm seeing. The false card you have, your future is the fool. I love this card. I love it. I'm seeing this card literally, actually. I don't mean you're I don't mean you're in a flowery dress with a um a pole with a cloth on it with your things in it holding a flower. No, I don't mean that literally. I mean that I'm seeing travel, I'm seeing moving, I'm seeing you doing something, something completely new, something completely different, something out of your comfort zone that you're going to have to uh, jump in and do. And I'm seeing that you're probably going to be invited to do this thing. You're going to be invited to go somewhere. It's going to be totally out of your comfort zone. It might not be a place. It might be doing something that you're not used to doing. It could be something like rowing or it could be something like camping or something like that. I hate camping. I hate spiders. See what I mean? So it might be something like that that you don't like doing. Or it might be something not that you don't like doing, but something that is completely new, completely foreign to you. You might be around people that are completely different to you. They might have a completely different view. You might go into a, a place that um, has a different atmosphere, something like that. Uh, but in the beginning, you're going to feel a little bit like a fool. You're going to feel a bit like... Uh, I'm a fish out of water. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm so different to all these people. I feel like a fool. But by the end of it, you're going to feel a lot wiser. You're really going to grow through this um, thing. You're really going to learn. You're really going to step out of your comfort zone. And that's going to be really good for you. You're going to grow in this. And you're going to be a lot wiser. You're not going to be the fool after this. I'm also seeing that someone who you're involved with could be romantically, could be a friend, um, probably as romantically. I'm seeing that quite strongly. They're probably going to travel with you or it could be their idea for you to do this, but they're going to be involved with you in this in some way. And you're going to really learn and grow from this time. That's what I'm seeing. The next card you have for your future is the Five of Wands. So yes, again, I'm seeing family coming up. I'm seeing family disagreements coming up, all sorts of little problems coming up, family battles. I am seeing one family member who's quite difficult and I'm seeing them and I'm seeing someone next to them, someone who looks up to them and just kind of nods their head and agrees with whatever they say. So it could be someone they're married to, it could be someone, a brother and sister, someone like that, some sort of relationship they have with each other. But one of them looks up to the other one and does whatever they say. But the one who's the main person, the difficult person, is a very they like to argue. They like to point score. And I think this person's going to be coming after you at this time with some sort of battle going on. Um, but you've really grown so much in the fall. You're a very strong person or you're going to be very strong at this time. Now I'm seeing that they're going to try and um, point score, argue, disagree with something, something like that. 
and you know they're going to make things very confusing because I'm seeing that you're going to try and reason with them in a reasonable way but they're not going to be like that they're point scoring so look at all this confusion in the five of five of wands this confusion there's a battle you can't see who's who who's winning what's going on it's all a great big mess and that's their tactic every time you speak to them you might say okay this is my point of view i think this and this and it's very civilized when people listen to you and then they have their say and then you have your say and they have that's very civilized but they're not like that when you have your point of view they either jump all over the place interrupt you talk about something else you might be talking about flowers and they're talking about stars and they interrupt you talk about something else and get you off track and and confuse you and interrupt and it's all craziness they're not trying to learn they're not trying to grow which is what we're all we all should be trying to do in life we always should be trying to learn from one another read things learn things hear things and progress that's what you're doing that's what you're doing in the fall you want to hear what they have to say and you want them to hear what you have to say but they're not doing that they're going to be just point scoring they want to win they want to win people like that are not going to learn anything there's no point in speaking to them so i'm just seeing that what you're going to do in the end you're just going to say well you have your sticks and your battle by yourself confuse yourself off you go i'm going to be by myself that's what i'm seeing you're just not going to engage with this person anymore there's no point the last card you have your future is the page of wands yes i'm seeing some creativity here i'm seeing things being opened up again to you newness creativity being opened up to you if you look at this page he's looking up he's looking up to the wand there's a little um leaf coming out of the wand newness new growth so he's looking up to that this is creativity as well and i've seen that in your past you used to have a lot of um some sort of creative outlet either it's playing music listening to music or enjoying something creative could be acting could be art something and that's coming back to you again now at this time in your future you kind of lost track of that you abandoned that somewhere and it could have been that this person who you're involved with romantically isn't uh, very creative or something like that because I'm seeing that you lost to that when you started seeing this person it was something like that it might not be to do with them it might just be that a coincidence that it happened at that time but now you're going to start to revisit that again you're coming back to your um, creativity and coming back to enjoy whatever this is and you're going to bring them with you to enjoy that so they're going to learn a whole lot of things from you you're bringing them into your world and this is going to be fantastic for both of you. This is going to be a really, really nice time. And you need this after everything you've been through with the fall and the judgment and the two of pentacles and these naggers around you and everything else and these battles. This is going to be such a nice time. This is going to be a really, really nice time for you. That's what I'm seeing. 